light swords. Y'all thought it was dead. This guy over here said it's definitely not. Light swords are not dead. In fact, with the release of Dugaris over here, you can literally do whatever the hell you want. If you guys are excited for the video, hit the subscribe button. Shout out to my stream when you guys asked me to make a broken light sword deck and I've gone above and beyond making it tier 1.5. I was gonna say tier 2, maybe. But deck's amazing. It can even play through hand traps, which is surprising. If you guys like the video, hit the subscribe button. Let's go straight into the video. Let's go. Light swords, baby. If you haven't already, as I said in the beginning of the video, go check out the combo tutorial where I do three test hands in a row and all three ended on crazy unbreakable boards of imperial order fossil dyna a seal protecting the fossil dyna from getting attacked and uh hot red Ar archman and a griffin absolutely broken like this deck's honestly insane and it plays through hand traps like nothing thanks to all the extenders you play and thanks to this card the it it's broken i'm gonna explain all the card choices and side deck play whatever the hell you want uh it's it just amazing it actually makes light swords 100 viable uh, oh my god. Anyways, let's go straight into it. Three Raiden, one Lumina. It's all you need. You just you prefer open Lumina over Raiden 100%, but Lumina is a free summon, and the fact that you can discard, you have so many grave effects in your deck, like dangers, Destudos, all this type of stuff that get summoned for free. You want to play all the performance cards. So you, one Lumina is all you need though, because you end up, you have search it, you can search it if you want. It, it's crazy. Anyways, triple wolf, triple Felis. It might seem a lot. You might be like, oh Pengod, I'm gonna brick on them. The deck is reliant on rank. This is how you play through hand traps. You mill so easily that having triple wolf, triple feel is totally fine. You want to hit something on your Minervos. You want uh, to extend through boards going second. And you might draw one or two, but it's fine. You have so many cards that discard, like dangers and stuff, that having two cards in your hand you can't play with doesn't matter. It's fine. You still, it's okay. Honestly, totally okay. I have no problem with playing triple with triple few list and you want more stuff to discard you're gonna end up milling 30 times in most turns you mill 30 times so you want to hit something on them triple destrudo one blow triple destrudo is amazing because it's insurance after you mill it or draw it it goes into guard dragon combo it's one of your ways to win the guard dragon combo it is amazing uh and also going second when you summon a destrudo your opponent's scared of yazi mermer so they're gonna impermanence it right away especially when you go like Response on summon of Destrudo. So you're gonna be, be a drama queen about it and they'll like waste the card on Destrudo. Uh, double juggler, one clown, one hat tricker. Amazing. If you, uh, it's honestly amazing because it, it helps you make Curious so easily. And Curious is more broken in this deck than normal Light Sworn decks than, uh, than before because you don't just send the order which you're gonna set, but you also set, you end up milling all these type of cards that are amazing when they get milled to get free summons. And uh, on top of that, uh, you're like what you're gonna send order it, typically rising dragon is gonna send fossil dyna and curious is gonna send imperial order dugaris is gonna special fossil dyna or succession is gonna special fossil dyna that you get from it and griffin's gonna set order so you're gonna get these all the time but it's just so much easier if you mill the floodgates with the light swords oh, it's just so much easier and uh, you don't gotta even think if, if that's the case one zephyros also amazing to get rid of in the graveyard sometimes curious even sends it if you end up milling the order like a lot of these cards just broke into um, send with curious anyways a lot of times fossil dyna and pure order are gonna milled anyways by your 30 mils in your turn by the light sword cards so uh, having uh, so many great effects is amazing sometimes with the with, uh, with uh curious and stuff one photon dash in case you drop a rota i know it's one up in a one up in uh uh, 60 card deck, but it's fine. It's so you want uh, as many level fours as possible. It's level four spam essentially because you want to make sure to do Garus and Minerva resolve every turn. Uh, all the free special summon dangers are here two to two plus all the level fours because Mothman and Triple Cobra the level fours. You want to make sure you get level fours easily. Also, because Rise of Dragon is a very important part of the combo as well. And it's broken in this deck. Uh, three Lone Fire, th you play nine Lone Fire and Scorp nine Scorpios. Three Lone Fire, three Scorpio, and three Frozen Rose. No one plays this card. This card is absolutely busted. Because Frozen Rose sent you, you get so many free monsters on board anyways. So Frozen Rose, even if, if you draw into it with Soyuja and you didn't uh Lone Fire combo, what's broken about it is you don't need to open Lone Fire. You really don't. Because you mill 30 times. If you don't open Lone Fire, you're gonna open a shit ton of light swords and, and extenders like dangerous. So Lone Fire, sorry, charge, mill, Lone Fire, well, you bunch of rank four spams, Dugaris, special Lone Fire combo. You don't need Lone Fire for any combo either. You don't need to open it, you can still do the whole combo, doesn't matter. But it just makes it so much easier and something that your opponent has to ash. You, as long as, like, it, it's very good through hand check, you'll see it for yourself. Like, it's honestly amazing. You guys, if you guys haven't seen the comment, check it out in the description. One Cobra, one Garnet. 
Obviously, opening these suck. So your goal, if you open these, is you have to hope that you could start using them back. If not, it doesn't matter. You just play without the lone fires at that point, and you can still do some cool stuff. Like you can still easily send Dinah and Order and, and Seal. It is you have to make sure you send Destrudo instead. So basically, Carry is gonna send Destrudo, and then you bring out Destrudo and then uh, targeting something, and then the card you targeted and Curious into uh, Sayuja, and then Sayuja and Destrudo is how you guard Dragon combo after that. So it's totally fine. You can still do the whole combo without the Pride Upon stuff, it's just so much easier. In fact, a lot of times the Scorpio is kind of like the hand trap bait. Uh, yeah, one guard dragon for the Ib combo, one Dyna, one Order. These are honestly broken. Like just, you get them for free. Uh, you can. It's absolutely unbreakable. A Dyna, a Order, and a Seal. Absolutely unbreakable. Frozen Rose also helps you play through hand traps because you just tribute your card or send your card and then slow resolves. One Brilliant Fusion, Triple Allure. You got shit ton of darks in the deck. One Rota for your option of Raiden or Photon Thrasher. Triple Charge, Triple Solar Recharge. Re Solar Recharge seems like oh you're only playing what 11 Light Swords in a 60 card deck. Uh, or sorry, you play 14 Light Swords. So a lot of times when you have slow recharge, you're gonna draw it in conjunction with your 14 light swines. But so you should also draw into it a lot. It's broken. You want extenders. You want to keep, keep going. One foolish one rebound. One succession. Honestly, it's amazing. Like you guys saw, like in the videos I showed you guys, like three test hands in a row. All of them ended up three test hands in a row. They all ended up. I know I'm not facing through hand traps, but uh, like even if hand, it's good versus hand traps. You guys can see if you test for yourselves. And if you guys like the video, and if this video gets enough likes, and if you guys subscribe. I will happily do test duels where I duel against random people and destroy them with light swords. Because I firmly believe this is a viable competitive deck and the best version light swords can do. The guards makes light swords fantastic. And hey, when I'm unbanned, I'll happily play as the regionals as well. One Jasmine, one Curious. Jasmine's amazing. It, it turns into, uh, it makes your, uh, it, you got a long fire every turn because you draw into it, you mill it, whatever, you special it back with the guys. <coughs> Jasmine turns into a bulb. <coughs> A bulb and uh, the bulb turns into just a shard. It's great. Carry is broken. Double Sayuja. That's all you need. LP, Agar, Pain, Seal, Griffin. The combo we have Dyna, Order, Griffin, Hot Red, and Seal is just unbreakable. And if you guys want to see how to do it, I did it with three random hands. You don't even need a, a, a specific hand. You don't, you don't even need to open Lone Fire. It doesn't matter. You just do whatever the hell you want and you still end up in the combo. Well, originally, when I was building the deck, I thought you needed to open Lone Fire to do it, but you don't. You can literally do whatever the hell you want and you still end up doing it, especially thanks to Destrudo, because Destrudo gets you the card dragon combo. It's broken. Uh, Boral Sword. Honestly, the only link card you need going second. <laughs> like, you, you just keep playing. Going second, the way you break boards, you just keep summoning monsters on board. Like, your opponent's going to have to choose stuff to interrupt eventually. I'm probably going to have a side deck of Lila. I didn't make a side deck, but. Lila is a great card to side deck for back row decks, but I'm making a side deck later. A side deck's not that important right now for this. It's still, it's amazing. Honestly, the deck's absolutely broken. I tested a lot with this. Uh, one Justishar, one Rising Dragon. Rising Dragon is how you also play through hand traps. If you can't go into Justishar, Rising Dragon is how you basically send your stuff so easily. And you can also, with Raiden and Lumen at different levels, with level three dangers, you could send them to the Strudo and then just, or, or a, uh, like, sorry, uh, Dyna to summon it back or whatever it may be. Hot Red, great. Daguerreus, Minerva. I was thinking about taking Minerva out, but sometimes you just need, I know it seems kind of sacky, but welcome to Light Swords. Like, uh, Minerva, Mill 3, a lot of times you're gonna hit a lot of stuff. Look how many Light Swords you play, and look how many Grave Effects you play. You have 20 cards you wanna hit. Also, you wanna hit the Dyna and the Pure Order. So you have 22 cards, 20 cards you wanna hit with uh, Minerva, that's a lot, especially when you're milling three. A lot of times you're gonna hit two stuff off it, or even if you don't open the Lone Fires, sometimes you're gonna have to go, you have two level fours on board, and you're gonna think, oh fuck, if I Sayuja, what's gonna happen? Uh, maybe I could, sometimes the best play is Minerva, mill three, and then Daguerreus, uh, either draw to discard one or special whatever you mill or whatever it may be also because you're gonna draw a lot from it it's broken and then one star for night the deck side is really really good it just i don't see a light sword deck uh, built like this uh, in the world right now it, it's just amazing you can do some crazy stuff with it and it was built i didn't copy no one's list or anything i just built it from playing it multiple times i spent hours and hours and hours testing this and it's honestly so viable i really enjoyed playing it and it's a crazy crazy amount of fun i'd consider it tier two it, it, it's still like what can you expect from Light Sworn, but it is definitely 100% competitively viable. And if you love Light Sworn, it could easily steal some matches and 100% capable of topping a YCS without a doubt and winning a regional. It, who knows? Like, even uh, World Chalice won a YCS before. This is 100% capable as well of winning a YCS, especially when you build the side deck to destroy the meta. Because the side deck options right now destroy the meta. Anyways. 
Hope you guys like this video. I spent a lot of time deck building and testing. And hey, a lot of my boys uh, shouted out one of likes for uh, donate for it on stream, and I did it for you, bro. Hope you guys like this video. See you in the next video. Hit the subscribe button if you guys got this far. See you in the next video. Peace.